Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick for Thomcraft version 6. In the last episode, we made some arcane infusion stabilizers, and now let's I'd like to try a recipe that has some high instability to see if they work. So let's look into closing flux rifts. So closing flux rifts are going to need an observation in oromancy, a theory in oromancy, and I think two theories in alchemy. So let me go get some alchemy theories. Okay, the crucible will help you focus for alchemy. Okay, let's see, that's infusion, that's alchemy. I need a terra and an aqua crystal. There's aqua, where's terra? There we go. Okay, so I can ponder or I can get cognitio and humanus. I don't think I have that. Let's just do this one. Okay, Spellbinding is Oromancy. This is Infusion. This is Artifice. Well, none of those are what I want. I guess I'll do Oromancy. Okay, Alchemy. If I had Lunar New and Lunar Third Quarter. Hmm, do we have any Lunar New? We do, and there's a Third Quarter. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's see here. Synergy, 30 Golomancy, no, Ponder, 25, let's do that one. We can do Synergy, I don't want to do that, Golomancy or Reaction, so I need a Velatus and a Desiderium Crystal. We should have a Velatus, Desiderium, I don't know about that one. Oh, I do, okay, perfect. Okay, Modus and Permutatio. Let's see. Modus, Permutatio, there it is. All right. Synthesis, Spiritual Focus. I need Perdicio and Modus. I've already got Perdicio, or I've got, got Modus. So there's Perdicio. All right. Now I can ponder or do oromancy. Let's do pondering. There we go. Lots of alchemy theories. Okay, that takes care of that. Yeah, two in alchemy. Okay, so closing flux rifts is a very complicated process. And you can see we have a very high instability process. We need 50 alienus and 50 visium. And we're going to need a V resonator, a morphic resonator, two niter, two alimentum, and two redstone blocks infused into a block of TNT. So, uh, quite a big recipe. Let's see if we can pull it off. And I'll bring these things with me. Let me go dump the V crystals real quick. All right, so let's see if the stabilizers do their job. So, we're going to infuse the TNT. We're gonna have niter on opposite sides. We're going to have Alimentum on opposite sides. We've got Redstone. And we've got a Morphic Resonator and a V Resonator. All right. We need 50 Alienus and 50 Al uh, Vit Vicium. I got Vicium from the Flux Condenser. The Alienus I got from Ender Pearls. So let's see if this works out okay. So, very stable right now. It's pulling in the Alienus. If these stabilizers were not here, I would have expected this to go instable already, or unstable already. But, they're doing very well. Yeah, this is not moving very stable. Alright, there we go. A causality collapser. So there we go, go ahead and scan that. So, causality collapsers are nice for closing flux rifts. So if you have one and you want to get rid of it right away, uh, without it, you know, spawning something, uh, you can use this to close it. Now, if there's still a ton of flux in the environment, another one might spawn, but, uh, you know, you can make more of these things if you want. But, again, you've got to get rid of the flux to get rid of the flux rifts. 
So we're gonna do this experiment all over again. I tore down my setup from before uh, when I was testing this out. Uh, I got flux risks way below the 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 sky platform, so maybe I didn't have it wide enough. I'm not sure, but I just figured, eh, nothing over here too much. I think I'll risk it. So we are going to simply dump the crafting tables again and let it go. And you can see we are now, what is that, 483 flux? So that should spawn a rift pretty soon. Okay, so there's the rift. You can see our flux is still very high, right about 400. Um, I'm gonna wait until it's cleaned up some of, the, some of the flux before I close it. Otherwise, we'll just get another one. Okay, so we're down to about 80 flux still. That's good enough. We can use the flux condenser to clean up the rest of it. So you take your causality collapser and just press right, chuck it in there. You'll want to jump back though, it is going to explode. And one of the reasons you might want to use the collapser rather than just let it decay naturally is that you will get these things called void seeds. And void seeds will start to unlock the Eldritch tier in Thomcraft. We're a little bit far from that still right now, but uh, you know, in time. And we have to get them sometime. So get, help me get out of here. Okay, so that covers the infusion stabilizers. Thanks for watching. See you next time.